Welcome to the Film Fastener Bond Cap Installation Series. This video demonstrates the installation of the BK2004 for commercial storefront applications. We begin by removing any residue from the window frame with an approved cleaner. Structural silicones like Dow 995 do not adhere well to the gasket material around the window. This gasket should be removed if possible and an approved shim or backer rod should be installed in its place. I use a gasket roller to help with the installation. Next, we measure the daylight opening and subtract 1 16th of an inch from each size. Now, we lay the bond cap on the measuring board, then mark and cut to size. Using the mitered corner template, we mark for the angled cut using a wet erase marker. You may also find marking the length of the bond cap using the corner template can save some time. When you have a length cut, you can use it as a template to mark more pieces. This is especially useful when you have a large number of windows the same size. Now clean off the ink with a wet towel and test fit the strips. To ensure proper placement of the BK2004, please note the leg with the smaller angle goes to the frame. In this example, the bond cap is upside down and leaving noticeable gaps. In this example, the bond cap is still upside down you don't notice the gaps, but as you can see, it is far too high on the window. When the bond cap is placed correctly, each leg will be parallel to the glass and parallel to the frame. As a side note, when the mitered corner template is used, you will find this will help in figuring which side goes where. Time to cut the tip for your caulking gun. Mark your tip so it is the same size as the bond cap and cut. Next, poke some holes in the silicone, screw on your cap, and you're ready to start shooting. Now let's put on some gloves and get ready to have some fun. I strongly recommend using the 20 ounce caulking gun. The 10 ounce tubes are simply too small to leave enough material. As you can see here, I'm having a little trouble with the silicone. You will see later how bond cap can fix this. As you run your bead, 
try to keep your gun perpendicular to the window and have a small ball of silicone running ahead of your tip. Place the bond cap over the silicone and press into position. Once you've placed the other strip, align the corners to touch completely and this will give you the proper placement. Remember the area where the silicone gave me some trouble? Well now we'll fix it. You can press against the bond cap and push or drag the silicone from the heavy area to the light area and fill as needed. And now we can clean off the excess silicone with a plastic razor blade. If you happen to have a large amount of silicone to collect, you can use a piece of bond cap or another tool to scoop off the excess. Finish off with a plastic razor blade and you're done. In this segment, I am intentionally running a very thin bead. When you come to the end of a tube or wish to stop your run, wipe the tip against the frame before you pull away the gun to avoid running strings of silicone all around the building. It's not fun cleaning silicone from the carpets. I'm placing the upper strip into position. It's not laying in correctly, it seems. Not enough silicone has been applied. Fortunately with bond cap, it is easy to just lift back the cap and apply more silicone. As with the previous strips, just press into position and line up the corners. I cover the silicone as before, but I did not miter the corners on these strips. I am adding a little silicone and placing the cap in the corner. A little positioning and a little cleanup and the corner is done. In this corner, enough silicone had oozed out, there was no need to add more. Once 
Once again, place the cap in the corner, position, and a little cleanup. Thus completes the BK2004 installation. Looking from the inside or the outside, you have crisp, clean, straight lines. Good luck and happy bonding!